morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel there's Leanne here if you're new to my channel so today i have been with my husband chris we went to home no we never we went to uh, b m so recently we bought just one of those little um you know like the little plastic greenhouses you can get but it's like you can walk into this one we got one of those just so i can start seedlings off and everything um, and so Chris wanted to go to have a look to get some uh, paling slabs to sit it on. So we went to uh, b and M's to say, this morning. And then whilst we were there, we picked up some other bits of food and a couple of DIY things. Um, projects that we need to crack on with in the house. Um, so I'll show you what we got. I had every intention of buying seeds. And I picked the seeds up and then I ended up putting them back. Because actually they were... They were quite pricey, really. Um, but apart from that, I couldn't find any of the little pots there to start my seedlings off in. Um, so I think at the weekend we're going to go to one of our local garden centres because there, when they've used the little pots, they just put them they put them all out um, in like a contain. Not, in like a wooden section that they've got at the front of the store and um, you can just help yourself to them free so yeah I'm just going to go there the weekend and see what they've got and have a look at the seeds there and maybe get some compost there to sort of start everything off um, anyway I will show you what we got at um, B&M always want to say fucking bargains okay so picked up this loaf this is a super toasty Warburton's um, loaf it's extra thick sliced soft white bread um, this was reduced down to 50 pence um, which is very good for a loaf of bread um, and it's still within date so that's going to go into the freezer so that's 50p I think I actually picked two of those up yeah yeah so we picked two of those up both for 50p. Both of them were 50p. Um, and then this one is the bread that I tend to buy most of the time. This was 50p as well reduced. Um, and it's the Warburton's um, Tiger loaf. So that one was also 50p. So £1.50 for three loaves. That's quite good, right? Um, we needed some milk. They didn't have the six pints there. So I just picked up this one, which is a four pint. Um... I'm not sure how much this was. Let's have a look. That was £1.29 for four pints of milk. Paracetamol. Got two packs of paracetamol. Uh, they were 29p a pack. Picked up some of these just for sort of quickness not for me because i don't eat these i absolutely loathe them i couldn't eat these at all but chris fancied them so um they're the fray bentos chicken meatballs in tomato sauce and then you've got chicken meatballs and gravy he wanted those 75 pence uh, a tin and then he also wanted these these are the cheerleaders hot dogs are the jumbo ones they were two pounds, I know that. <laughs> um, the Ever Ready lights, so these are like the halogen light bulbs there for the lamp in the lounge. So they were one pound fifty for those two. Uh, we need a new shower curtain because, well, the one that we've got is still absolutely functional. There's nothing wrong with it other than right at the very bottom, you know, you get that sort of black mould. Well, I've washed it, so there isn't any on there, but it does sort of stain it a bit. Um, then I tried to bleach it, and it's kind of like changed the colour at the bottom, and it just doesn't sit right with me to sort of have that in the bath, I don't know, in the shower. Um, so yeah, I changed my mind and thought, do you know what for the sake of how much was this seven pounds change the flipping shower curtain as then just change it and i thought this one was really nice and here's something i do a couple of times a year because you know although i do spray it with like the 
the mould stuff and everything occasionally. Not on every shower curtain, but on some of them, I, you know. Mind you, I've had that one. Crikey. I've had that one quite a long time. I don't think I even replaced it last year at all. So that one's been up there a long time. Um, so this is the one that I picked up. So £7. Um, and it looks just like that. So it's got like the little tassely bits at the top. I thought that was really nice. So yeah, £7 for that. Um, we picked up two of these. These were, let me double check, they're the, um, the Ginsters. Uh, two steak slices. They were... 109 so pound and nine pence we picked up two of those i picked up this cheese this is creamy cheese slices with fiery chilies so we thought that'd be nice like well as the picture says really um cheese on toast thought so that'd be really nice so let me just double check the price of that one Elsie, just wait. No. So this was three twenty nine. So quite pricey, but I'm hoping it's worth it. Um, also some dog treats. These are the pedigree rodeo. They were a pound. Um, now my tweezers for my eyebrows don't actually work anymore there's like when you close them there's a little gap um sort of where the two sort of um you know like the trees a bit where they close there's a gap i mean i've had them for years and it's trying to see what else you've seen she was making a noise to get outside i've let her out and i don't know if she's seen something there i'm keeping my eye on her i don't know if it was a little frog or something She's really searching for something out there. Um, anyway, so I just picked up another pair of tweezers. These were only a pound. Um, so, you know, I hope... I hope they are okay. I haven't tried these before, but for a pound, I don't know if they'd be absolutely brilliant. I'm just giving my other dogs out there, of course. Um, and then also, my nails are in a bit of a... Oh, yeah. They really need to be filed. Um, and I had, well, I had a glass nail file and it broke the other week. Um, so I needed to have a new one. So this was £1.49 and it was a pack of three. So they're going to last quite a long time, aren't they? Um, okay, then these were the till reduced. These are the Mr. Kipling After Dinner Chocolate and Orange Fancies. So they looked really good, but they were also reduced. So um, they were down to 75 pence. And we have already had one each. And I can say that they are really nice. Really yummy tasty. And do you know, we bought this uh, box of uh, Twinkies. I have never, and actually Chris, neither of us have actually had a Twinkie. <laughs> Sounds awful, doesn't it? We've never had a Twinkie before. I've seen them loads of times. And loads of people talk about them. Uh, but we've never actually had one, so we have. Since we've been home, we've been really naughty. We've had a coffee, and we had one of those um, chocolate orange uh, fan French fancies. And we had um, a Twinkie with it as well. My gosh, they are lovely. I'll show you what they look like. They're all individually wrapped. There's ten of them in here. Um, and they are like this, so they're all individually wrapped, and they are like, I didn't know what to expect, I was kind of expecting like a donut sort of taste, but they're not, they're definitely like a, I um, can't think, uh, you know, what are they called, are they called madeleines? A little bit like that on the outside and inside they've got this lovely lovely um creamy filling and they are very very good and that is what they look like 
and they take some eating as well you know they're not like all soft and squidgy they're not like um, haven't got any substance to them they really have they are very very nice um, how much were they can't remember let's have a look well, the Twinkies for 3 29 this cheese That cheese was a pound. I thought three pounds of it was a lot for that, but yeah, that was a pound. The Twinkies are three twenty-nine. Now got some more dog treats. These are the Perina ones, the Adventuros um, sticks. The the Buffalo flavour ones. These ones here, and they were they were just over a pound, I think. One twenty-nine. Um, now when I first went in there. You know, as you go in the door, there's like stuff all in front of you. Um, so this was there, and it's the extra value pack. It's a multi-pack of Fabulosa Sink and Drain Unblocker. Now, the other day I was saying about how, you know, when I did the bathroom, I did a speed clean on the bathroom. Um, the sink upstairs has been slowing down again. I don't know why it does it. I really don't know why. It's not as if I wash my hair in the hand basin or anything like that. Um, so occasionally we just put some sink and blocker down there. Um, so this was actually £2.50 for two bottles. Um, it is in two different fragrances. There's Soothe and there's Energize. Um, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses so I will use some of this today see what it's like so I thought that was a real good price 250 for the two of them uh, we picked up some more fat balls for the birds so this great big tub there's 50 fat balls in here and I'm pretty sure this was four pounds let's have a look just to confirm Fat balls, oh, £4.50, which I don't think was bad for 50 balls there. I picked up some wrapping paper. Um, this is for our youngest grandchild, Otis. It's his birthday this month, and he absolutely loves dinosaurs right now. Um, and so I've got dinosaur wrapping paper. That was 99 pence. And then we picked up two of these. Now, we weren't sure if we needed one or two, so we thought we'd get two. Um, I can always use one on a different project afterwards, or we can return one, whichever we decide to do, um, and obviously depending on how much it uses. But this is for a project for the bathroom. So, our bathroom, it's kind of, it's okay. I wouldn't even go as far as to say it's dated, really, because it's like the whole suite is white. Um, but I'm not, I don't really like the side of the bath. The, the panel is like plastic and I, I really don't like that um, and I was talking to Chris about maybe putting on a different panel or making he was talking about making a panel one that we could lift like pull forward and use storage underneath um, but we are saving to which is one of the reasons why we're doing a very low spend year and only buying things that we deem we really want or necessary as in food for us um, for the dogs any sort of little DIY project and um, birthday and Christmas presents for the family um, everything else is really going to be cut right back uh, so we are saving and it's going to take a while to change the bathroom. Um, so we will probably, as much as I like a bath, I find it quite difficult with my, my, my joints and my back problem to get in and out of the bath. Although lately I've been managing to have one, which is amazing because I really do enjoy a bath. Um, but we will probably change from the bath to a um, just a walk-in shower. So the whole length of where the bath is that will become the whole thing will become a shower um yeah so we're going to be saving up to do that so of course that means we will probably replace the toilet and the hand basin so it kind of is all new together 
we will need to take all the tiles off and to retile the bathroom, obviously if we decorate it, put new flooring down, etc, etc. So, obviously we don't know how long it's going to take us to do that, you know, it really depends on how the money situation, how things go, etc, etc. Um, so, it's something we're just going to chip away at doing. But, um, so I said to Chris, how about we buy that sticky contact paper and we just put it on the front, take the panel off the bath because it's a plastic one, so it'll stick quite well, it, because it's flat, you know, it's a flat plastic. Um, so I said, maybe take it off and just put this contact stuff on it. And that I just give it a new lease of life for a while, so that when I go in there, I won't be so sort of downhearted looking at it, because it seems to have, like, discoloured slightly over the years as well, so it's not like a bright white anymore, and that really affects my sort of OCD about, you know, I like my bath, I like the whites to look white. Um, so anyway, we saw this in there. These were the last two rolls, which is why we ended up getting both of them in case we needed one in a bit. Um, but it is in like um, a sort of a grey white marble. And I thought, well, that's okay. That's like a pretty sort of neutral colour to do it because the bathroom is grey anyway. Um, the flooring is like a grey. And I thought, well, that will just do nicely and just freshen it up, give it a new lease of life. So I've got two of those. So that's something that once Chris starts on that, you know, I'll be recording it so that you can see how he's doing it, the progress, the before and after, all the rest of it. Um, so, how much should we pay for this? Um, Six ninety nine a roll, yeah. so that was thirteen ninety eight. So, depending on whether we use one or two, the most it's going to cost is thirteen ninety eight, and just a bit of time, and that would just like spruce the bathroom up. So that was that. I'm on the last bag now. Uh, we picked up a Jamaican ginger cake. This is a st uh, the sticky pudding cake, this one. It's much bigger than the ones that you sort of standard size ones that you buy in the supermarket. And it does actually say that this is a sticky pudding cake. Um, try me with custard. And it gives you the heating instructions. It gives you the heating instructions for the oven. So for a fan assistant, I've got 160 degrees. Um, and you place a slice of cake on a baking tray and heat in the middle of the oven for five minutes. If heating more than one slice, do not overlap. So um, you could just put them all on there, however many you wanted to do, and it'd be in there for five minutes. And it kind of goes really sort of sticky. We've had this before, it's very, very nice. I think that was a pound. Let me double check. The Jamaican ginger cake was one pound. Uh, some more dog treats. These were... These are the Baker's Gentle Delicious with Meaty Chicken Centre. They've had one since we've been in. Um, those ones here. They were £1.29 for those. And then finally, I picked up some more wool. So you know that I'm making um, lap blankets, snuggle blankets, whatever you want to call them, as part of Christmas presents for females in the family, so I'm crocheting them. I finished one, I've almost finished the second one, so now I have already got the wool to do a third one, now I've got the wool to do a fourth one. I saw this in there and I couldn't resist it. It's so nice, honestly. Look at this one. It was £2.50 a ball. Um, oh my gosh, but it is so thick and adorable. This is what it looks like. The colours on that. So you've got like your sort of beige stone creamy colour and then in there you've got You've got pink, you've got yellow, you've got blue, you've got green, so it's going to go with so many people's decor. So I've got six of those all together, and yeah, that was everything that I got. Um, Chris, of course, got the paving slabs. How much were they, Chris? Uh, 2 99 each. 2 99 each, how many? Eight of them. Okay, so we've got eight of those at 2 99 each. So um, I'll sort of show them to you as he puts them down. I'm going to say goodbye for now. So thank you so much for watching. If you do like shopping hauls, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, press the notification bell, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, my lovelies. Bye. Bye.